And of course, the different waveforms uh, available on the LFO are going to create different sounds. Digital madness on that one. There is so much possibility rife in there. Anywhere from, uh, you can use those sorts of sounds in percussive sounds or uh, effects or whatever, or, or you can just sit and do what I'm doing, which is just turning that rate knob over and over again. I can't help it. These are really interesting sounds. And that's only the pitch. Let's hear what happens when we do that crazy stuff to the shape. Okay, I'm gonna set it back to just a straightforward um, triangle wave. A pretty reasonable modulation of the wave shape. So yeah, uh, you get into these weird outcomes with the wave shape where you're actually modulating the wave shape enough to create these bizarre oscillations. And you actually don't lose the frequency of the sound. That was triangle, let's hear sawtooth. And square. Interesting sounds. That actually affects the frequency. Unlike sawtooth. On square, you actually lose the frequency of the oscillator in the way that the wave shape is being modulated. There's some engineer right now who's going, well, yeah, of course, because uh, I don't necessarily know the reason, but it's certainly very interesting. Uh, yeah, so you have an effects bonanza in your LFO. You have incredible modulation opportunities using this fast LFO, which is truly fast. And then the way that it can be directed to a variety of destinations other than just pitch. But uh, here's what the cutoff sounds like. When you push uh, the filter into self-oscillation, then you are modulating it with an LFO at this rate, you just get the weirdest sounds that you're hearing. Wow, the square wave really messes that up. So this, this is just fun with the LFO section. Who knew an LFO section could be this level of fun? Okay, I'm gonna stop playing now and get back to demonstrating. Um, okay, so then we're not even done yet. Then we come down to the last thing. The last thing is this thing called one shot. Now, what do you suppose one shot is? I'm pretty sure that your LFO is re-triggered every time you press a note because that is currently the standard because certain uh, electronic uh, popular music styles require it, but it helps us in this particular instance. So if we have an LFO that is one shot, which means it goes through one wave shape cycle of the LFO modulation, so like with the triangle wave, that means it goes up and down. 
If we have a voltage that goes up and down, what do we have? Well, that is the same thing that the envelope generator is doing. So if our LFO is going very slowly and it only goes through one waveform, it's actually an envelope generator for a moment. So let's listen to that. Let's set it on pitch, bring the rate down. And we'll turn the resonance off. Let's bring that rate up a little bit. Bring the, bring the intensity down a little bit. And that is us going through, we have it set to pitch, so the LFO is modulating pitch, and it's just doing one of the triangle shapes and then bringing it back to where it was and stopping. And if you get the rate fast enough, you can play with that. If you get it fast enough, it becomes an attack transient. But you can use it uh, in a variety of ways. And we can turn the intensity way up. And you have a blip at the beginning. Now, I don't want to see a bunch of complaints about, there's a blip. Uh, the blip is intentional. Right there, I was just turning the intensity up and down. But it becomes a really cool effect that you can use to alter a sound, to modulate a sound in a single way in a short period of time or a long period of time. And we could also use other wave shapes. Let's hear what they would do. There's the descent of the saw. What does that remind you of? So yeah, uh, all of a sudden, this helps our ability to author rhythmic sounds, and it makes our tonal sounds cool by creating these interesting effects at the beginning. can put this interesting pitch transient at the beginning of each note that you play. You and square wave. Which can act as a delay. Interesting. The weird outcome. Okay, let's hear this effect uh, in regard to shape. So basically, we, we can hear the square wave uh, pulse width modulating, and then it will come to the end of its wave shape, and then it will be done pulse width modulating. And we bring the rate up. You can see the modulation here in the window. And by adjusting the intensity and the rate, you can use this one little envelope, this weird voltage envelope, and apply it in the way that suits your intention. square wave kind of defeats the purpose on that. Uh, 
I've just changed the wave shape of VCO1 so we could hear how it affected VCO1. Really a fun and interesting function. And we're still not done. We still haven't shown what this can do to the filter. You can free up your EG to modulate something else and let your LFO act as an envelope generator for your filter. Listen. How weird is that? So you can put that little pop at the beginning of the sound that you would typically use your envelope generator for. Wow. Uh, let's see what this card does. You have two different settings. It just flips from one to the other. really interesting outcomes from that because who's ever done that? I mean, maybe there are modular systems that do that or digital systems that do that. But as an analog guy, I've never seen a one shot LFO like this. And I I'm just, I'm bristling with the ideas that it could be applied to. And I'll undoubtedly use them, uh, hopefully in other videos, etc. But when you start thinking about authoring sounds overall, you have a lot more resources available to you in these two sections that are usually pretty dull than you do even in the other sections that are usually the focus of everything. And one of the things that really excited me about the mini log was that the oscillator was way cooler than oscillators usually are. This time they basically made it so that the envelope generator and the LFO are way cooler than those functions usually are. But yeah, so there's our LFO and I feel bad stopping now, even though this is a super long video, <laughs> because the way that these can be applied are the ways, the many ways are many. Um, and it's a really, really cool function. You're actually really getting your money's worth right here. Uh, no, you're getting way more than your money's worth right here. Anyway, so that is the amazing LFO that exists on the relatively modest monologue.